Hello everybody, welcome back to Trailmakers where today, this is the, actually the exact same recording session as last one. I just need to go ahead and snag heavy here, because as you can see, we are about to get our helicopter planes, hopefully. How heavy is this thing? Okay. Not too heavy. Heavy enough. Because we need to get it down here. We gotta kind of snake it down the path. And we have to carry the thing all the way down to ground. Okay, um... I've lost contact with ground. Okay, now I'm good. But then once I fall with this, we need to then get it to a good spot to go ahead and cash it in. Okay. Check my map again, but we should be just above ground. That's not gonna explode that, right? This doesn't explode that, right? I probably should not chance it. I mean... Alright. It's time to go free-falling. So here we go. this doesn't work, then we're going to need to reset back from up there, and that's going to suck. Okay, okay. It looks like we will land here on the land, which is good. The problem is recuperating after this landing. Whoa! Okay. Pogoed there for a second. Let me stop. Repair. Repair. Repair! Okay. Holy... Now, pick this back up, and we take this casually to our ship down here on the docks. Without going into the water, preferably, game. Please, stop. Alright. Okay. We're going. Alright. Let's stay away from the water. get this thing there. And it's not much better, but it at least gives me a little bit more steering ability here. Stop. Stop it. Alright, there we go. Whew. So now we have helicopters unlocked as a mode of transport. So let me go ahead and... Yep. So now, let's just go ahead and get a feel for how these work. Let's just go ahead and attach some skis to the bottom of this, just to, to actually stand upright. That should be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. But let's go ahead and, I guess, build a little ship here, just to test out how these helicopter thingies work. As stated previously, I am no aerodynamics engineer. Alright, that will at least let me sit there without flying off into the nothingness. So it was your mechanics. Let's go ahead and stackable helicopter engine. And then we need the four blades. Which should be here in lift and drag. So that there, and then this one here, that is how they go, right? I think that is in fact how they go. And then we go ahead and copy that one to that side, and this one to this side. And this flies with W and S, okay. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blender! <laughs> this is not working as intended. Um, okay. What is the plan here, now that we have this? 
Do I have to make the bottom heavier than the blades, I'm assuming? So each three kilograms, and that itself is five kilograms. So let's let's add some artificial weight here for a second. To keep the thing balanced, I gotta do one on each side here. Okay. Will that work? No, I still spin like a top. Do I have the wrong side of this thing attached to me? Surely not. Let me try to copy a bit more weight. Just to see if that fixes this, because this... It's still... Could be an issue because I'm not sure exactly what the problem is here. <laughs> Let me, uh, yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. If this doesn't work, then it might be something else. I think it's something else. Why is this doing this? Do I need to put weight on the top here? I keep adding weight and all it does is make me spin slower. So I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, I'm going about this wrong. But I'm going to keep copying weight until I stop spinning. still spinning. Why? What is the problem here? Okay, let's let's get out the drone design. Drone prototype. And see if replacing those propellers is going to do anything. Um I don't know exactly, but I hope so. I hope that these work. Actually, I might not even be able to with how little space there is between. Well, let's just see if this... How? That should not be possible! going on here? What? Why? This doesn't make any sense to me. Huh? With a static top and bottom. It's not static. Let's just... You know what, Let, let's see what happens if I was to add a modular wing instead of the helicopter wing. It doesn't look like it's too upset right now. It really doesn't look like it's too upset. Let's see what happens. I'm a fidget spinner. not doing a whole lot, which is fine by me, but... Okay, do I need... Do I need tail fins to stop myself from spinning like a damn top? Let's just go with some tail fins here. These are clearly necessary. And I don't know exactly the problem we're having here. You know, just to keep myself, you know, level and all that, let's do this. Use these like a tripod stand. Okay. <laughs> this 
has to work, right? This has to work. I don't know why these are giving such an issue today. I mean, I've never had, uh, well, any, any flying device that works. Maybe that's why. Okay. Please tell me this will not spin. Dag nabbit. Why? What is the issue? Do I need to have, like, a back tail area that has another one of those that's just going non-stop? Let, let, let's see here. Let, let's see. If I go on ahead, attach these, try to make a tail zone that I can use. Not what I needed there. And that's like, what, a block tall? Let's go on ahead and... Uh, where is it? Mechanisms. Let's just see if this works. If I rotate these to the side. Okay. Like I said, static top and bottom. Right, game? Come on. There. Okay, this... I do is spin faster now. What is the problem? Do I need to reverse these? What is going on? We don't even have any blades in. wise words, I am out of brain juice at this point. <laughs> this should not, this should not physically work in any sense of the word. What in the hell is this black magic that is going on? <laughs> I don't even know. What, what happens if we just stack all these in the middle, huh? At this point, I'm getting extremely curious about this. What happens if we just make a stack of them in the middle? This shouldn't do anything. And yet it does. What the hell? The I'm so confused. What in the fresh hell is going on? Okay, at this point, I'm throwing building this to the wind, because I am now extremely curious what happens if I turn my ship here into a helicopter blade just by itself. Let me make sure that this is even here. Okay, so it's not even. You know what? It's good enough. I think. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that I could do that. Alright. Let's copy all these to the other side. And then now we just go ahead and slam down some helicopter blades, I guess. Let's see if we fly into the heavens or not. Like, in all honesty, this shouldn't work. None of these are connected to an actual propeller blade in the slightest. And yet this works better than some flying machines that I've made. Why? 
what in the hell is going on here? This works better than most flying machines that I've made. How? Why? What black magic is this game? And then the fact that I just kind of twirl down like a friggin' Mario character. What the hell is this? <laughs> I... Honestly... I have no... Nada idea at what in the hell is going on. How? How far up can I go with this? I guess up, up, and away. I really hope my guy doesn't have motion sickness in there. This... This shouldn't work. Everyone with me that this shouldn't work, go on ahead and let me know in the comments, because I... I'm stumped. Why does this work? How does this work? I... <laughs> I'm so far confused. I can't even put together commentary on this. Now all we need is just a way to go to the side. And this is a working machine. What the hell? Am I going to lean to the side here? I can just keep twirling like a friggin' Mario character with a Tanuki power-up. It doesn't get me anywhere, except up. But it exists, it, it works, and then if I go in and spin the other direction, it. Huh? What? Excuse me? Either direction I go up. Why? Riddle me that one, Batman. Why the hell am I... And off I go now. Well, guess I'm not getting to that island. What the hell? I'd be better off using gimbal jets. Actually, this thing's better than gimbal jets. Hold on. Because it's staying upright! What the... I don't even get how you'd steer this thing. I can't even fall faster. Because no matter which way I push, it just goes up. What is this shenaniganry? Just fall with style now. I am so far confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, I, I've just taken my hands off the keyboards here. I need to think. What the hell was that? Why was I going so high up with a twirly whirly? confused right now. Why does that work? How? In what universe? Do I have a template machine for a helicopter? It's a heavy duty thing up there. It was a hovercraft. I need a go-kart seat for that though. A pickup drone and a cloud copter. What is this? Oh, hold on, I, I have an idea. This this episode is just going to be me tinkering with this thing, because holy crap, it is janky as hell. 
if I was to try to use jets, say, on the back of here... This... Oh, it doesn't have... It doesn't have backwards connectors, okay. Actually, I guess frontwards connectors would be for that one. But let's just say I got a stackable engine right here. Actually, this this is not a good cockpit to use. Okay. But let's just continue with the diving bell here. The diving bell example. If I was to do that. And put down blades on it. It says that this is supposed to stay stationary, but it doesn't. It just doesn't. So now if I go on ahead and add tail fins to the sides of this, to give it some air resistance, I guess. No. I'm gonna copy. And then copy both of those over to the other side. And then... Hell, may as well give it a wheel while I'm at it. Because this thing... I don't know what is going on, but it does not want to exist, whatever it is. Because this thing... ends up spinning itself into a friggin' whirly gig here. a few blocks, and then give it, you know, an off-road wheel here in the middle. Just... <laughs> this looks like something you'd see in the damn circus. And it doesn't matter, because it just goes. How and why. Looks like it takes the bottom to stop spinning first, so what if... What if I just did something completely unorthodox here? Completely strange. Detail from where we go. Alright. What if... Hear me out here. We don't use it the way that it's intended. Because it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Let's just say... I'm gonna attach this... Attach that there. That locks down those two. And then diving bell here. And then up a couple of these. And then give it a little bit of propulsion there. How well will this work? Now it's the other side that's spinning too much. What the hell? What the? I don't know. Uh, at this point, I don't even know if I want to know. Is there, a, like, a gyroscope that I need? Hold on, I, I still have the map open on my other screen here. Let me... <laughs> Let's see if there's a... There's not a gyro. How? Um, what exactly is the plan here? Do I need something else to try to keep the, the everything working? Like, if I go back over here to the drone prototype real quick, and then pop that into four, and then it will stop. Okay. The drone prototype. Let's just say we're taking this one out for a spin. What would stop us from doing this? Turning these upside down. To keep our flight ability, I guess. And then 
move that down the side and back. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I actually figured out that you can use the arrow keys to move it around on your plane that you're looking at. So that's fun. Alright, so that is still space to go... Well, that, that's now space to go down. Okay, I need to remember that. That's now space to go down. So now if I add a couple whirly gigs up here... Give it some lift. Alright. And then... And now it doesn't have enough force, and now I'm just spinning like an idiot. Let's see what happens if I do this, though. Oh, that's a smooth takeoff. Smooth takeoff, what the hell? Maybe I should have used these. What if I use the whirly gig to kind of slow my fall? I mean, if I get this thing spinning up and then I just you know fly off, it acts a surprisingly good gyroscope. So what? Okay, so if I was to do this and then forward. It does move it forward and backwards better until it doesn't. I am so, so confused. <laughs> this shouldn't work. <laughs> this doesn't... Okay. I'm gonna need to go on ahead and figure out what the hell is wrong here, because I am extremely, extremely, extremely confused. But, uh, I guess our next stop is to try to claim the Dragon Jet. Because once we get the Dragon Jet, we can make a plane that should be able to go anywhere we need it to. Well, maybe I should go on ahead and try dealing with some of these over here with the Flighty McGee. Um, because I do want to end off this episode on at least getting something that isn't complete garbage. And I'm going to need to try to find some way to use... I'm probably going to try to look for a YouTube tutorial on how the hell those things work. What kind of dark sorceries they use. Because that... that just shouldn't work. Like, I, I'm sorry, Trailmakers, but that should not work under any circumstances like that. But, that's just my opinion. I may be a complete and utter dunce. Maybe some aeronautics engineer out there is like, yeah, that, that's super realistic. When it doesn't have any... anythings there, it's like, eh. But I mean, even looking at it now, it said static top and bottom. That is not static. As my car sounds like a tin can. We don't need a wedge piece anyways. Let's let's just see what I can make as far as a uh, like a jump jet on this thing. Just to give me something for today. <laughs> Alright. This works, right? Oh perfectly, okay. So I guess if I need a speed boost I can just Woohoo! Maybe I should save this one. That's actually not bad. Alright. But I mean, as it speeds through... Let's see what its top speed is now that we've got the rockets. It's about 50, 60... And then... Alright. About 50, 60... Let's see... Can we activate those? That's about 100 miles an hour! No breaking, no breaking. Ah, damn it. Transform unavailable, transform unavailable, dag nab it, game. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it is significantly heavier. Because each of those jets is how heavy? 
each of those jets is 53 kilograms. Ow, we Okay. But, I mean, it... It does help it a lot. Hmm. You know what? I'll save it. Oh, it's Car 2 now. <laughs> it has finally evolved to Car 2. Alright. So now I guess uh, we have a little bit of something we've done today. Uh, what's over here? Something that's a little bit below. Over here. Ah, jeez. This thing's just over here doing loop de loops. Okay, maybe we can get up this mountainside now. Uh, almost. That's not a solid object. You think it's broken? Why is it targeting that? Like, it's some sort of enemy. Is it just saying that's where the rest of your car is? <laughs> okay, let, let's come over here and rebuild and let's go. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and try that again. Up we go! Woohoo! Ow. Alright! Now, what exactly is up here? There's an explosive one, which is probably a power core. Correct. Oh, it's a block. A 4x8. Ow! Damn, that thing came back with a vengeance! I'm sorry, jeez. What the hell? And this big hole here is probably not gonna help me in any way. Okay, what is this? Block one by three. And there's another block over here. Just to get back some of my former speed and I'm gonna blast him. Alright. Oh, that's just money. Whee! These jets are actually kind of fun to mess around with. I wonder if I can go in and, like, ramp them off something. But, ooh. Hey, 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 hey. That's not what I wanted. Jeez. Oh, it's that cave. And that connects to right there. Okay. Uh, there's some more money over there. Uh, what else do we got right here? I'm also going around and seeing what... Else I can get for later episodes. No, let's see if we can hop the the riverbank here. I'm curious. Let's hop the riverbank, and then I'm probably gonna end off the episode because I need to do some research. Woohoo! Okay. No, I'm probably gonna boot into a sandbox thing and try to make something that works. Hopefully. Woohoo! This is actually really fun to use. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't come up with this sooner. Well, probably because I didn't have any thrusters sooner. Woohoo! Stick the landing, too! Alright, well, maybe we'll have to use some racing stuff next time. Because there is still a racing and uh, other campaigns we can do. This ends up, you know, giving me too much of a brain tickler that I can't, you know, actually deal with. Huh. Okay, a solid plan. That's good to know. Uh, wait, there's still a an uncollected spawn point over here? Okay, buddy. This is going to be our first question here. What is this? What are you? You are a slim wheel. That looks like a bicycle wheel. And 
then I'm assuming getting down here to this respawn anchor. Oh, there's more stuff here. Hold on. Just to speed ourselves up a little bit. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that was okay. We can at least unlock this now. Where are we is the question. I'm not exactly sure, but I also didn't see what that was. What, what was it? Unknown salvage still. So, I guess we can try to go on ahead and just blast across to it. <laughs> Get something done today, you know? So, go ahead and line ourselves up here. And full power! Woohoo! Truck wheels. Okay. There you go. Truck wheels. So now we've got heavy duty blueprints. We've already kind of made a heavy duty ourselves. Maybe a heavy duty with those wheels is better or something. I don't know. How exactly were you supposed to get up here? Were you supposed to make that jump? I guess so. What's down here? Anything? Whee! <laughs> Alright, well. Doesn't seem to be anything left here. Now, we just kind of jettison off the edge, and yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Trailmakers. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this episode of Trailmakers. And yeah, see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.